So, so voters are also being asked to consider a $12 million bond for their projects. But how will the taxpayer dollars be spent? Chris 6 News reporter Jeremiah Marshall explains. And we certainly encourage our community take advantage of early voting. Early voting has begun, and if approved by voters, schools in West Oso could see some major changes. Their 2018 bond proposal includes several different projects, ranging from the demolition of the JFK building, new turf for the West Oso High School football field stadium, and more. A huge chunk of this proposed bond will go towards building a new central administration building. That's going to come to $4.48 million. The proposed bond will also include security upgrades. That'll help control people coming in and out of West Oso's campuses. One of those fixes, new main entry vestibules at West Oso High School, Junior High, and Elementary School. Because right now, uh, it's pretty open. And as you well know, safety and security is, is a, a big priority. We're very fortunate. We recently hired an assistant superintendent that's on the governor's panel for safety. But what does this mean for the taxpayer in the area? If approved, the tax increase for the average home would be just over $5 a month. That would work out to just over $67 more a year. Jeremiah Marshall, Chris, 6 News. And